Well, that was fire dance, and I am still kind of in shock that it was 62 degrees yesterday, and I drove here and it was 10 degrees. So, wow, thank you so much for coming out to this concert here tonight. You're going you're gonna to hear a lot of wonderful music. This is the Bethany Lutheran College Concert Band, I'm Professor Benjamin Fogstead, and what we're going to be featuring next are some hymns from Holy Week. And anytime we perform our winter concert and go out on tour, never lands right with, with Holy Week, but it's really cool to hear these wind players play a number of different hymns. So we're going to start with Hosanna Loud Hosanna. There will be three different times in this program we'll feature some hymns, but let me look up what that number is. 279, does that sound right? Did somebody say yep? Yeah, it is 279, great. Okay, so if you wanted to, grab your hymnal and take a look at 279. We're gonna just play it twice. You can, you can follow along, you don't, you don't have to sing. Um, first is going to be by the brass, and the whole ensemble is going to join in. Before introducing our next selection, I'd uh, like you to get to know the band a little bit. Uh, these students do remarkable work here at Bethany, and the first thing I want to kind of highlight is, raise your hand if you're taking at least 15 academic credits. 16 credits. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. 23, 24, 25. I don't know. I can't remember taking more than 20, so that's incredible. Um, how about, did you work a job on campus or off campus at least five hours a week? Raise your hand if you have, okay, 10 hours a week, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, <laughs> she's wincing back there. I don't know how she's doing this. 40 hours, okay, wow, all right. Um, how about, are you in at least one music ensemble? Yeah, that's a, that's a fun one, yeah. Uh, two ensembles, three, four ensembles, and then five, I don't think anybody's in five, right? But a number of you aren't. Could you show me the ones that are in four again, would you? Wow, that's amazing. Uh, so, and you see this in the program too. Variety of majors listed. Uh, they're, they're so involved, so incredible in the work that they do in this band. And then that's true of, of the, the other areas around campus. So remarkable. Our next selection, Nostalgia, refers to a sentimental longing or wistful recollection of the past, typically for a time or place associated with happy memories. So think of a time or place that gave you happy memories as you're listening to Nostalgia.
Earlier today, I had Spotify on, and this ridiculous song came on. It was like, maybe the title of it was Earworm. I don't know if you've heard that term before when it comes to music. It's when you have something that's, it just, it's repeated so much that you really, it just kind of sits in your brain, and then you're like, well, I want to hear that again. And that's, <laughs> that selection by Gallant, he uses that repetition really to quite an extreme, or, or to quite an incredible advantage, not extreme per se, but... I, again, I can't remember what that, that tune was, but it was just this sort of ridiculous lyrics and stuff, but made me think about uh, um, how powerful that, that repetition is in music. Uh, so back in 2017, our department, music department, embarked on an all Steinway campaign, and we've reached that goal. That was just announced this last semester. We're an all Steinway school, and that's an incredible achievement of the schools in this tri-state area we're one of 10. So there's only nine other schools that can say they're an all Steinway school. It means that all of our pianos are Steinway pianos or Steinway designed Boston pianos, and they're present everywhere in our practice rooms, classrooms, rehearsal spaces, and of course this performance space here with a fantastic Steinway D. So um, just an incredible thing for our campus to have. Uh, this next selection is based on a quote by T.E. Lawrence. All men dream, but not equally. Those who dream by night in the dusty recesses of their minds wake in the day to find that it was vanity. But the dreamers of the day are dangerous men, for they may act on their dreams with open eyes to make them possible. So the composer then adds here, this text has served as an inspiration to me since first reading it. I have often thought is an excellent message for people of all ages. No matter how young or old, it is always the time to be curious, to approach life as an adventure, and to invite new experiences with a sense of childlike wonder. To dream with open eyes captures the sense of wonder, imagination, and possibility that turns dreams into reality. The best dreams are the ones you live by day with open eyes.
Uh, the next hymn we're going to take a look at is O Sacred Head Now Wounded. This is a setting by Johann Sebastian Bach. You can look at hymn 335 if you'd like and follow along. We're going to play it twice, first by the flutes, then the whole ensemble. Novo Lenio, two Latin words meaning a new and better change. Each movement acts, acts as musical documentation of a time period for Upper St. Clair High School in Pennsylvania. In the first movement, Remembrance, the two themes seem to sound somewhat somber. The movement was inspired by a walkthrough of the old school hallway through its demolition and the memories that the partially standing structures brought back. Qui non profici deficit, the second movement, depicts the construction of the new school. This Latin phrase translates, he who does not progress weakens. This phrase also appears on the crest of the Upper St. Clair School District. The movement is meant to sound like the dissonance of construction. Just when the tension of the music needs to break, the third movement, a new beginning, is introduced. The movement portrays the glorious look of Upper St. Clair's new school. Here's Novo Lenio.
We did consider ending with that selection, but we do have a few more selections to go. I want to share a little bit of information about our music majors. So the first item I want to direct your attention to is the back page of the program. So this is just a way to share some music major updates. And you can see a number of uh, music majors of the last few years and what they have been up to. Uh, the next thing here, uh, talking about our current music majors, they're, they're key to this ensemble and every ensemble at Bethany. They serve as leaderships. They, ser they serve a leadership role in these groups. And they set the example of excellence and character for others to follow. Their leadership here is going to translate to leadership throughout life. Please join me in recognizing those current music majors. Please stand. And then also on that back page of the program, you can help support this college by encouraging students to major in music. You can see on the right side, we have a number of scholarships available. There's an annual deadline each January 31st. So sophomores, juniors, consider applying. Also at the very bottom, I'm sorry, it's kind of small print, but you could support music and art students right now at Bethany with a commission. If you'd like to learn more about this, please email me for music commissions or Professor Jasperson for art commissions. So part of our music major curriculum provides opportunities for students to conduct Bethany ensembles. This student conductor has both the backing of coursework and intro to conducting and is currently in our instrumental conducting course. Please welcome Darian Rosenthal. Even lowered it for me and it was still too tall. <laughs> Our next selection is Song for Terra by Yukiko Nishi, Nishi, Nishimura. Oh, I'm not great with names, let me tell you. Uh, but this song was composed, and the composer says in her notes that it was supposed to be a song of peace for Terra, for the earth. When I hear the selection, what I like to think about is a warm, sunny day, and it's at sunset out in the middle of a park and I'm just strolling through it and there's not a sound except the chirping of birds and it's just serene. Please enjoy a song for Tara.
this below. That was his conducting debut right there. How cool is that? Let's give him another hand. Way to go. So there will be an opportunity for Hannah to conduct on tour. We've got six tour performances because we're performing twice on, at Carroll High School. You'll see that in the front of the program. So. Hannah will be conducting three times on tour and then Darian three times again. I shared this, this little bit of information at Sunday's concert, so if, if you were here Sunday, then you get a chance to hear this again, but I think it bears repeating. So last summer I had the opportunity to travel to England with about 14 Bethany students. We visited Oxford. I read about a lecture that was done there back in World War II by C.S. Lewis. You probably know him from Chronicles of Narnia. He did a lecture on, does beauty matter when bombs start falling? Well, Lewis offers three key points. If we waited for peace to create art, the first cave painting would still not be made. There will always be some imminent danger looking more important than culture, yet culture breaks through. And then he talks about insect life versus human life. The insects have chosen a different line. They have sought first the material welfare and security of the hive, and presumably they have their reward. Men are different. We demand not just mere continuity, but variety, growth, and adventure. And then another point he made is the soul feeds on truth and beauty like the body feeds on food. God makes no appetite in vain. We can therefore pursue knowledge and beauty in the sure confidence that by so doing, we are either advancing to the vision of God ourselves or indirectly helping others to do so. I think this next selection by Andrew Boysen Jr. embodies C.S. Lewis's thoughts. It's metamorphosis.
So now we'll look at one last hymn. And this is not to spoil the surprise on Easter Sunday. This is Jesus Christ is Risen Today. You can open to hymn 352 and follow along. We'll play it twice, first by the clarinet and then the whole ensemble. Three quick announcements here before our final selection. As I mentioned earlier, we're going to be touring throughout Iowa and South Dakota. Yes, that's going to be March 6th through the 10th. And um, after tonight's concert here, a free will donation is available at the door to offset tour costs. And a portion of your donation will go to our newly endowed tour fund to ensure we continue to travel and share great music beyond the Mankato area. Prior to... The band's tour departure, I'll be taking a group of nine music majors out on the road throughout Iowa, Minnesota. Over the stretch of four days, we're performing nine times. So if you happen to be in Mankato, Monday, March 4th, we'll be at Risen Savior School at 11 a.m. and Mount Olive Lutheran School at 1.45 p.m. The last thing here is uh, April 23rd, 7.30 is the next time you'll see this band back here, and they'll be joined by our chamber orchestra. So please save the date and, and come back. Um, oftentimes at concerts, I have all of these pictures, and it's great, the band, and, and, and it's wonderful, and then I just, I never get a picture of the crowd. So could I just snap a quick photo here of the crowd? Would that be all right? If you don't want to be in the, just duck down or put a program in front of your face, but I'm just going to take a picture here and there, just real quick, all right? Thank you all so much.